this up. I hope this is what I think it is, but I've got a feeling I'm a little early for this one. Oh, no, it is. Grid it. What do you carry? This one here from Jalad. Ja, Ja, Jalad, I don't know. It's for your leather accessories. And, and here's what it looks like with the cover kind of all tarted up. I put stickers on my notebooks. Well, number one, it distinguishes mine from everybody else's, but it kind of identifies the things I do, like uh, Arduino and Raspberry Pi, JavaScript, Git, my flower from Adafruit, which I get a lot of projects from, DigitalOcean, where I do some of my hosting, combination of both Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio. One of the most important stickers on here is Node. Then there's Mongo and Swagger, and this one's from Coffee Cup. Uh, they have a responsive design product that lets you do bootstrap stuff. There's the bootstrap stuff. This is the shout out to my man Fish out in Taiwan who does a the best database tool I've ever used called database.net. Uh, Express, which Express is used in combination with Node. And then there's Mongo Chef that works with Mongo to give you a better front end. And then Camtasia, which is the product they use to do a lot of the videos. And then Just In Mine, and I'm missing a little dot there. The Just In Mine is a prototyping tool. Uh, and this is Vue, Vue component of uh, MVC. So it's like Vue and Node and Mongo and Express or, and JavaScript are the stack that I do my development. So this is my notebook. And when you open it up, it looks inside. It's a nice notebook. It's their Envy line with the Iris uh, 4K Ultra High Definition. And I figured if I went to all the trouble to buy this type of a notebook, a better notebook, I needed a better case than this standard canvas case that I've been using. This is like my emergency backup case. Well, it's not a bad case, it's really big. But I wanted something that looked a little more retro. I may have mentioned before that I'm kind of in this steampunk and I like to design things that are steampunkish and I want my bag to stand out as well so I purchased this bag this was a different type of bag it does look really nice a nice solid feel to it uh, one of the things that separated this bag from the other bags is typically the shoulder strap attaches to the side here it would be a connector to attach it to the side and there is there's one right there but the other thing is is it had these buckles in the back and the buckles in the back allowed you to route the strap through these and then up and what it would do is it would put the strap on the side of the bag instead of the top which made it easier to carry there are some tooling marks here from where they needed to sew it but you know it's on the back who's gonna notice that and inside There's the strap, there's an inside zipper pocket, oh it opens up, oh yeah it gets wide, there we go, I'll give you an idea, ah, it's got some width to it, it's actually got two inside zipper pockets, one on the top and one on the front there, and it's got two compartments there, Two smaller pockets here, but they expand, and a pocket on the side. Now the question is, does the notebook fit in there? The moment of truth. The notebook measured 15 inches, the bag said 16 inches. Let's see who was right. It does fit, but it's kind of tight. And I would have expected there would have been some cushioning that I could put along the side. I think with a little bit of stretching, this will probably work. It's got enough room for a lot more stuff inside of here. It's got an inside, an inside compartment here, which will be good to hold papers and the likes. I'm glad I got the 16-inch one. The 15-inch would have never fit. Oh, it's got bags. It's got the little pouchy bags on all sides, so there's four pouchy bags. These pouchy bags on the outside. That seals on the top, and it's got a riveted handle. 
can't see the bottom of the rivets, so I don't know if they're pressed rivets or pop or popped rivets. They look like they're uh, pressed rivets. Well, that's the bag itself. And one of the things I found out whenever you have a bag, you have to have some way to organize pens, pencils, chargers, little doodads and odds and ends that end up in your bag or else they just end up all over the place. So I took a chance on one of these grid accessory pouches. It's a pouch with a bunch of stra elastic straps on. and then you can stick things underneath the straps like pens and the likes and then it's got a zipper pouch in the back to be able to put other stuff. It's got a convenient holder to pull it out and it is 15-ish inches, yeah 15 inches and it's a tight fit. The idea of having one of these is so that you can pull this out and you have all your stuff on it. I think the chargers and stuff will go in the side pocket here. One of the things I am going to need is a case to put this in, uh, like a sleeve to kind of protect it. Plenty of room though. Plenty of room for this bag for doing all sorts of things. Some of the other things that I'll carry in the bag will be this Azus transformer, which is a uh, tiny little Windows 10 device. It's not really speedy, but it's an excellent device. It has a solid state disc in it. And press this button here and separate the panel and turn it into a Windows 10 tablet, which has very little practicality. That's the second time I've taken the screen off. Other than that, I've never taken it off. It's also a touch screen. HP Envy notebook I have, while it's an ultra high definition screen, it's not a touch screen. That's okay because I don't use touch screens that much. So this will fold up and go in one of those side zipper pockets pretty well. I have the standard power brick for the new HP. And uh, one of the mice that I happen to like, this is the Microsoft mouse, when you it folds up so it's smaller, but when you open it up, it turns itself on. Dongle for it is magnetically attached, so that's the dongle for it. And I can plug that either into the ASUS or I can plug it into the HP. There'll be some other things. Right now I have a very large Swiss roll around bag that weighs about 35 pounds. I'll probably still keep that bag because it has my Mac in it and a couple of other items. Well, lots of cables and adapters and other things. There are a handful of essential cables you should always have an HDMI cable and adapters. The other thing you should have is a USB power brick and charging cables because you never know when you're going to run out of power. Well, I don't know how I'm going to organize this, but there's more than enough space for me to work with this. I have had the retro leather notebook bag for a while now and have managed to get it set up so that it holds most of the things that I need. We'll take a look at it, open it up, and inside is the grid unit that holds all the various components and hard drives and doodads I use and this is the notebook bag. The notebook case is a foam covered case and when you open it up it's got the notebook in it. I like it that it has a little loop here to be able to lift it out. And, and there is the notebook inside. If we return to the case, we can pull out the grid and lay it down. And you can see a number of things on the grid. Got a couple of glow sticks, part of my survivalness. Some pens, some flash drives, a power backup unit, uh, various cables to handle that, some USB cables, some business cards, a one terabyte external drive, a uh, pocket knife, and a handful of adapters. And it's pretty much full, but it works very well. Nothing pops out of place. Inside of the case, in the inner pocket, when I unzip this, this is where the Azus ended up. The Azus ended up in this side pocket, zippered. Still leaving this pocket on the inside here to be able to put things. This is the Retro Leather 
notebook bag for my new HP notebook, along with the grid system to be able to carry various things. Altogether, this case worked out pretty good. It worked even better with the grid system. One of the things when you put these strap through the back and through here, in addition to having it hang kind of loosely on your side, you can also adjust the straps so you can put this on your back like it's a backpack and carry it as a backpack. Now, I don't picture I'm going to be using it as a backpack, but the idea that I could transform it into a backpack, that is today's post bag. 